Hi, welcome to the Global Class Memories GCN blog. This is Charlotte, and today I'm sharing my Entreaties Passage. What's an Entreaties Passage? It's a box I created to hold all those special memories that help me walk the journey path of life. There are so many things that I want to accomplish, and all those passionate requests will be held in this box. Each time I see this box, it will remind me of those requests. I created this box using a piccolo, the enamel, and metallic powder. I also use the card decor and more chipboard. And here are a few of the Global Craft products I use to create this project. To get started, you're going to need a box. Um, I found this box in a local scrapbook store. It's just a basic book box. I really like the shape, but I did not like the design. Um, you're going to need a box that either has a lid or a hinge design. Um, and to get started, you're going to have to find some coordinated paper that you really like. Um, and we're going to cut the paper out. We're going to cover the sides, the top, the back, and we're going to cut the frame around the edge for the front cover of the box. In the next step, um, I applied the paper with Mod Podge. Um, I used a kind of thin layer over it because I wanted to be able to stamp over it, but you want to make sure that all the edges are completely sealed and that you get the air bubbles out. After I've recovered the complete box, I then inked the edges, um, distressed it with some distressing ink. Um, my preference is to use a dye ink because it dries quicker and it's going to hold to your box. In this image you can see that I just dressed the edges pretty heavily with, like I said, a dye ink, which I chose a red color to make it look more vintage um, and old. Um, you want to make sure you get all the edges covered really heavily with that ink. For this step I just cut a basic cardboard frame. Um, I covered the cardboard with the Piccolo enamel adhesive, put it on with a brush, put it pretty heavy, then I sprinkled it with the brownstone enamel powder, then I heat embossed. And in this step, you can see in the corner where the frame comes out, it looks like stone. It's absolutely beautiful. I love this powder. Um, and then the next step, I randomly stamped with a feather stamp on the front and the sides and on the back of the box. Um, then I sprinkled the feather with the Victorian brass powder. Um, then I heat embossed it. I love the vintage look. For the next step, I punched out a corner card decor and more chipboard piece. Um, I covered the chipboard piece with piccolo enamel adhesive with a brush. Um, I then sprinkled it with fine black enamel powder, um, then heat embossed. In this next step, I took a single word um, and stamped it with black ink around the entire outside edge of the frame. I also added a rub on word that kind of matched the theme. For this step, I stamped the word image, um, mod podge it to the page, um, and then I really made sure I covered all the edges really heavy with ink. In this image, you can see just how much I really covered it to really distress. I punched out the square from the card decor and more heart charm package. Um, I then inked the entire edges with black ink, the front and all the sides. I then placed a good sticky glue on the front, and then I heared a photograph to the front piece of the chipboard gloss. Um, once the glass steak dries, it resists water and creates a permanent seal over your artwork, your embellishments. Um, it also creates a two-dimensional feel for any of your embellishments. You'll need to let the glass steak chipboard set aside for about 24 hours. It takes about 24 hours to get a really good crystal clear um, coat. Um, I then made an, a clay embellishment, um, added a bead, strung it to all together. We have reached our final step. And the final step is to add a photograph. You can either adhere a photograph to the front of the box. In this case, this box has a slot at the top because it is a book box. Um, and I inserted the photograph into the slot. I chose a vintage photograph. Um, I chose a photograph that really reflects the reason why I made this box anyway. Um, to kind of continue on my life's journey. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial today.
Thanks for stopping by the Global Craft Memories blog.